Hey Science 30, so we're going to continue the discussion of cell division and we just finished talking about haploid and diploid and now we're going to talk about an extension of that which is meiosis and mitosis. Um, so cells have to divide for two reasons. First of all, growth, maintenance and repair. Um, this is the process of something called mitosis. This is when your hair grows or you have a cut and your skin heals over or um, your new red blood cells get formed. Um, toenails grow, uh, different organ shells, cells shed and regrow. And so um, the body's gonna, going to want to divide so that it can grow and repair. And the body is also going to want to divide its cells, certain cells, so that it can form what's called gametes, right? Those sex cells, those haploid cells. So if you're a woman, then it needs to make more eggs. And if you're a man, you need to make more sperm cells. And so um, that's through a process called meiosis. So if I uh, take a look here, meiosis and mitosis are very different in function, but their processes are a little similar at first. So during mitosis, a diploid cell, so a 2N, right, uh, uh, two copies of each, right, 30 uh, in humans, 46 total, right, 23 from mom, 23 from dad, that's a diploid 46 chromosome cell. It's going to split into two brand new 46 chromosome cells. So you're making one, you're going from one 46 chromosome cell and you're making two more 46 chromosome cells. During meiosis, uh, it's different. Uh, a diploid cell, so a somatic body cell, 46 chromosomes, is going to split into four haploid cells. So one 46 chromosome cell is going to make one, two, three, four, 23 chromosome cells. So it's going to, what we call half haploidy. It, it turns um, itself into a haploid cell where it started off as a diploid cell. So meiosis is what we call reduction division because meiosis is making sex cells. And so meiosis is taking body cells, 46 chromosome cells in humans, and turning it into uh, four 23 chromosome sex cells so that they can go off later in life and uh, fertilize another 23 chromosome uh, gamete of the opposite sex and then make a 46 chromosome zygote. Um, versus mitosis, right, is the process of uh, taking a diploid cell and making two more diploid cells. So you're going from 46 in humans to two more 46 chromosomes. So nothing's changing. All right, so comparing these two, mitosis versus meiosis, um, we're going to go through the, the steps or stages of, of both. And so just a real quick review, really good um, table to pause on once we're finished if you want to make any notes. Um, so mitosis is for growth and repair. Uh, and the mother cell or the top cell would have 46 chromosomes and the daughter cells are going to have 46 chromosomes each as well. Um, two daughter cells are going to be formed at the end of mitosis and they're both going to be what we call diploid. So in humans undergoing mitosis, you'll have 46 chromosomes in each of the daughter cells. So you'll have a 2N daughter cell, and you'll make two more 2N identical daughter cells. And this is going to happen all over the body. Meiosis is uh, specifically for gamete formation, just making eggs in men or women and just sperm in, in men. Um, the mother cell or the original cell is going to have 46 chromosomes and then you're going to make a daughter cell with only 23 chromosomes and there's actually going to be four of them. So it's going to look like this. I really like this diagram right here. So this is a 2N somatic cell undergoing meiosis. So it's going to, this is just an intermediate stage, but we're going to skip over right to the end here where you get one, two, and I don't know if you can see these last two because my box might be in the way, but it's just two more N cells. So it's got one, two, three, four, and each of them just says N, not 2N, just N, meaning that they're haploid. So you started off at 46 as a human somatic cell, and you ended with only 23 chromosomes in each of these four daughter cells. These are either four eggs or they're four sperm. Uh, and this doesn't occur all over the body. This only occurs in what an organ called your gonad. Uh, and so in women, the gonads are the ovaries, and in men, the gonads are the testes. Okay, so DNA replication is necessary for cell division to create, and it creates two identical copies, right? Like we have to somehow take a chromosome and all that genetic information 
of one chromosome and then divide it into two identical cells in meiosis, we have to copy everything. Um, so we need to make sure that there's no mistakes when we copy stuff. We need to make sure that, that any mistakes that there might be aren't um, detrimental to the organ, the organism's life or functioning. Okay, uh, which diagram of DNA replication is correct? Um, it's this one. Why is it this one? Um, because we call it's called something called uh, semi-conservative replication, um, and semi-conservative replication just means that there's always one new strand and one old strand. And so if you look at this original strand, it was all, both strands were blue. And then the two new strands that were formed, they're identical, but you'll notice that one half of each strand is uh, red. And so that's just implying that that was the new copied strand. So uh, we won't get into the genetics of, of uh, DNA replication here, transcription, translation, in science 30, it's more of a bio 30 concept, but half of the original DNA is kept and half of it is new, which is why we say, we call it semi-conservative replication. Okay, so a preview of mitosis. Uh, we're gonna start mitosis in the next video.